hope everyone's day is off to a magical start. Welcome to Disney on a dime. Oh my gosh, and welcome to all of our new subscribers. We have hit 1,000 plus subscribers. Thank, Thank you guys so, so much. If you are watching and you have not subscribed, go ahead and click the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on all this good Disney and Universal and just Orlando um, just information in general. But thank you guys so much. But anyway, today we are here to give you our top 10, count them, top 10. Um, I don't know, Eric, you take it away. Our top 10 what? <laughs> so, Disney versus Universal. And when we say Disney versus Universal. Uh -huh. It's it's subjective, right? So we're not necessarily going to say one is better than the other. We will in some cases, but a lot of it is, what are you looking for, right? So Disney might be better in some areas. Let's uh -huh. say if you're traveling with three-year-olds, whereas Universal might be better if you're traveling with teens or just adults. Right. Things like that. So really going through a top 10 list and say, you know, helping you make that decision. I've got a few days. I can either spend all my time at Disney or mm -hmm. all my time at Universal or which one do I focus on more? Do I do more Disney, mm -hmm. less Universal or the opposite? And we've actually done that. When yeah. we go, we don't necessarily do all Disney right. or all Universal. Right. You know, we like to mix it up a bit. Yeah. So let's start with number one. Which park should I attend? Or do you like guys like our Star Wars <laughs> shirts? So if you didn't see your haul video yeah. that you did, we yeah. did a Disney haul. These shirts were $3 from Walmart in Orlando. Great buy. So, back to number one. Mm -hmm. Which park is better for my family based on age range? In other words, traveling with small children versus teen versus maybe all adults. Okay. I think the obvious choice for smaller children and perhaps elementary school children is typically Disney. I would agree with that. However, that's not to say that Orlando, uh, Universal Studios does not have its offerings for, Absolutely. you know, the younger crowd as well. You know, you have Dr. Seuss Land, yeah. um, and then everybody, I think, can enjoy uh, City Walk. Yeah, and they've got, you know, a Curious George area. Mm -hmm. Now, you can tell they've got a, a Barney area. So, the characters are a, a little bit dated. outdated. They've they got some SpongeBob dated. stuff, the mm -hmm. Simpsons, kind of just depending. Yeah. Um, so, we're going to give that with yeah. Disney. Teens, obviously, I think it's going to be the opposite. I think it's going to be typically more Universal Studios. Yeah. Um, and it's actually funny. There's a Universal commercial out now. And you can tell Ooh. they're kind of taking shots at Disney and basically <laughs> saying, hey, as your kids grow up and get older, they're probably going to be more into the stuff we got. And I think yeah. they're actually speaking directly to the kids. They are. Yeah, yeah I yeah. think they're actually speaking directly to the kids yeah. um, in that particular commercial. Yeah. I think adults is going to vary. Mm -hmm. I know, to me, one of the most adult parks is Epcot. Yeah. Because Epcot is very laid back. Quite frankly, there's a lot of restaurants and alcoholic choices at, at Epcot that mm -hmm. you can partake in. Mm -hmm. So Epcot's a great place if you're doing all adults. So are those City Walk and uh, Disney Springs. Yeah. Yep. To me, City Absolutely. Walk almost has more of a club vibe though, where it's Disney. Yeah, and I will say too, babe, before we move on to number two, that on our last visit, we did take a look around City Walk and we said, you know, we it's think um, Disney and Disney Springs is really kicking their butt right now. It is a bit dated. When you sit and look around, it really doesn't have a lot if you compare City Walk to uh, Disney Springs. So I think it's time for them to kind of zhuzh City Walk <laughs> up a little bit. I, and that's interesting. I'm glad you bring that up. It's good that Universal and Disney are in the same city because they leapfrog. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. And one time we thought City Walk was better, but they just redid Disney, downtown yeah. Disney. So Disney Springs. So now it's better. Yeah. All right. Number two, and this is one we hear a lot, rides. So I would say overall, Universal has more up-to-date high-tech rides. Yeah, I would agree with that. Uh, the only ex exception to that would be the new Pandora area in Animal Kingdom. Mm -hmm. But that's, you know, that's not a ton of rides. If you look at yeah. all of Universal's rides, they're very high-tech. Yeah. Uh, I would also say Universal has more thrill rides. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, we're not a real big thrill ride family, yeah. the three of us. Um, but if we were, we could really get our feel over at... Um, Universal. Universal. Yeah, Islands of yeah, Adventure. Yeah, Islands of Adventure. Um, yeah. They've got some big coasters. Heart pounding, <laughs> thrills just go on forever type of rides. Yeah. I would say in general, Disney does not, if you're a true roller coaster enthusiast, Disney mm -hmm. doesn't really have a big coaster. I mean, you've got Space Mountain, you've got Expedition mm -hmm. Everest, but if you do like hardcore roller mm -hmm. coasters, those aren't yeah. big coasters. You've got to go to Universal or SeaWorld. Yeah, um, and, I, and I think I kind of 
kind of like that. I like the yeah. fact that Disney is kind of catering to everybody, everybody with the different levels of, you know, you know the way they want their thrills. Everyone does not want that heart pumping almost, I'm going to have a heart <laughs> attack on this ride. Right. And I like that. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Number three, which one has, which park has better food? And when we say park, we're talking about all of Disney, all of Universal. We're going to give it to... I think we're going to go with Disney. Okay. It's gonna, we're going to go with Disney, but I'm going to say um, the variance in the two is not that wide. Yeah. All right. So um, I love the fact that Disney, again, with Disney Springs, mm -hmm. I mean, whatever you want, you can find it. Asian, you got Mexican. Steakhouses, You know, burgers. everything yeah. is there. Pizza. Now... City Walk, again, they have some of those same offerings, but I will say too that there's, you know, there's not as upscale, you know. Yeah. Um, City Walk has a lot of stuff that you can find anywhere. So let's say if you're looking for Asian, City Walk has Panda Express. Who hadn't eaten Panda Express? They Disney got a Burger Springs. King, they got a Mo's. <laughs> Disney Springs has, what is it, Mary Moto's? Yeah, Mar 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 Moto's, yeah. You yeah. know? <laughs> the restaurants at Disney Springs are not, they're not like, I mean, not, not, they're, it's not to say they don't exist in other places, but they're not as common. Right. Um, um, City Walk has a lot of very common restaurants. Now, they did just open Tooth Some Chocolate Factory, which is, is unique to City Walk. That is so true. So that's like the one that stands out, but everything, just about everything at Disney Springs is pretty unique. Yeah. And I'll say too, um, Disney does just a, I think, a better job within the parks making sure the food experiences yeah. are simply that an experience yeah. you know what I'm saying when you walk in it's clean for the most part the character interaction yeah, or the experiences with the cast members it's really it's really memorable so. the two the two Disney food highlights are Epcot and Disney Springs yeah. if you're if you're a foodie check out those two spots and before I'm actually going to give to Universal so oh. we're going to be fair here getting around okay and some of this is just by default. What Universal. do we mean getting around? So going from one part to another. Okay. And some of this is just by default of Universal being a little bit more compact. Yeah. So the way Universal is set up, you have the two main theme parks, mm -hmm. which are Islands of Adventure and Universal Studios. Right. And then City Walk, which is their downtown shopping yeah. eating area, is it's right in between. It's all one complex. So you just walk. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a compound. Yeah basically. Yeah. You do not need a vehicle. You do not need universal transportation no. to move from one park to the no. next. It's there's a really walkable. nice path. We showed the path in other mm -hmm. videos, a nice garden path yeah. if you just want to walk. So yeah. um, Disney, I mean, Disney Disney World is huge. It's like it's a world. world. So you got to take <laughs> buses, yeah. and monorails, mm -hmm. and almost airplanes and boats and so it's yeah that you do have boats <laughs> yeah. actually you do yeah, have boats that boat, take so. you from one park to the next hey right, guys so uh, number five shopping mm. we're gonna have to go back to disney springs for this one yeah 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 we never we were never ones there are people that go to disney and universe and just go crazy we were never ones to shop a lot right in orlando but mm -hmm. since they opened disney springs we started shopping a lot more it just entices you, yeah. it pulls you in. The way Disney Springs is set up, guys, for those of you who have not been, it is just, I mean, it, it hits on all cylinders, yeah. okay? It's clean, it's modern. Um, the shops there are, aren't as unique. I mean, you yeah. can't be unique with shopping these days, but. I just think it's the structure, it's the, the facade structure. of the buildings. Yeah. It, they, they really did a the great job. The architecture's really nice. Yeah. So let's take a look at number six. What's number Unfortunately, six? Unfortunately, number six is gonna be a clear winner for Disney also. Char Who is it? Characters. Ooh. Sorry, guys. Here's it, the thing. Yeah, go ahead. Man, come on. I Universal. Mean, look, at, look at these shirts. I mean. <laughs> Yeah. But here's the thing, with the with the with the limited characters that Universal has, you would think they would put a little bit more <laughs> effort into keeping the costumes clean and going in and, and giving bright and shiny and yeah. I'm so the Simpsons, the the, the yellow is dirty. If it's, it's not dirty, it's, it's kind faded. Of faded. They you don't have you know, I think Disney, to their credit as a company, has done a good job of just buying up all the intellectual property. Yeah. Star Wars, the princesses. And, Marvel. Right. And so with all of them, I'm not even, okay, Universal can only do what they can do. As Eric just said, Disney owns everything, but take pride <laughs> in what you have. We shouldn't see a dingy, you know, cat oh. in the hat walking around. <laughs> <laughs> Clean up the, the costume. The one exception to all of this is Harry Potter in both parks. That's true. As a matter of fact, if you go to TripAdvisor and you look up We've talked about going to TripAdvisor and going, go say, looking at a city and looking up the top attractions. Mm -hmm. The last times I've checked has always been the Harry Potter lands inside of Universal. So wow. those, they do a really good job. Yeah. 
Yeah. So if your child is into Harry Potter, throw all this out and just do Harry Potter because those are great. All right, guys. So that was number six. Let's take a look at number seven. And as you can see, we have our handy, handy dandy. dandy list here. So number seven. Number seven, unfortunately, is related. And uh -huh. I'm talking general ambiance. And when I say ambiance, I mean things like parades, the look and feel of the park, just mm -hmm. the general feeling of magic and wonder when I, when I that I get inside the park. Disney. Disney. That's always been Disney's thing, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. They put in the time and like I said, the effort, the energy into making sure that if it's your first time being on yeah. property, being in WDW, or it's your 45th time being there, every time it is an experience. You don't walk in and there's trash all no. over the streets, on the sidewalks, uh, Main Street isn't dirty. <laughs> every time you walk down Main Street, it's, it's like your first time being yeah. there. You know, I don't necessarily, I'm not able to say that every time we, we enter yeah. into Universal. And it's not that Universal, yeah. I would say, is dirty by any stretch of the imagination. Yeah, yeah, but Disney just that. goes the extra mile. Like when yeah. you walk around Disney and Disney Resorts, they're constantly they, painting. They, right, and you'll see Mickey Mouse <laughs> painted on the streets. There's glitter everywhere. Yeah, there are hidden Mickeys everywhere. Yeah. They're standing out with the gorgeous balloons. They're blowing the, uh, bubbles. What about the parades? Hmm. I think Universal should stop, <laughs> should stop trying to do parades. I think they gotta let Disney have that. They kinda own that. If you ever see a, a Universal parade and compare it to a Disney, there's no comparison. Honestly, you can't even call what Disney does a parade. It's a production. Yeah, it's an experience. It's, it's, it's an experience. What Universal does, where it relates to parades, is more like, I don't know, a carnival on wheels, a yeah. low budget carnival on wheels. <laughs> yeah. All right, so number eight, rule number eight. So we've been beating up, well not beating up on Universal, we've been giving Disney a lot of props. The next one I'm gonna to give to Universal and that is Lines. Ooh, yeah. And this, and we did a video on Fast Pass versus Express Pass. So if you haven't seen that video, watch that video. Uh, and you'll understand what we're talking about. Okay. I like the Express Pass system a lot better than the Fast Pass system. So Universal has Express Pass, Disney mm -hmm. has Fast Pass. When you have put all the energy into planning your next vacation to Orlando with your family, you've made all of the uh, dining arrangements, you have your hotels, the last thing you want to do is spend two days standing in line. Yeah. You know, I would rather go ahead <laughs> and pay for a ticket that puts me right to the front of the line so that I can get on my ride, have a fabulous time with my family, and get back to enjoying the park. Yeah. And for my, for me, I, we we've been using Fast Pass for years, even before mm -hmm. it was electronic. They put too many restrictions on it. You can only get three. They mm -hmm. they control the combinations of Fast Passes you can get, mm -hmm. um, and it's just too much work. And not everybody wants to do that level of planning. Mm -hmm. Whereas with a universe, with an Express Pass, you just buy it and you just go to it the front of the done. line. So I like it a lot better. Number nine, I'm gonna give this one a tie, and I'm gonna is we're gonna talk about holidays. Holidays, okay. So. This kind of goes back to number one. I think Disney does a, if you have small children, mm -hmm. I think you want to do holidays like Christmas and yeah. especially Halloween yeah. at Disney. Yeah, Thanksgiving, possibly. Yeah. They do a good job yeah. decorating everything. Yeah. But if you're with adults and, and, and kids or our teenagers that want a more fast paced experience, I like what Universal has done with the Halloween Horror Nights and Mardi Gras. Love it. Yeah, Love more it. of a party grown up. Mm -hmm. You know, at Halloween, I want real scary stuff. I'm into horror movies. You know, Mardi Gras, we might not be able to get to New Orleans, but we can do it. So, I'm, I'm going to say that was a tie. All right. All right, guys. We made it to the end of the list. Eric, what's number 10? Number 10. I'm going to say as a tie, you can weigh in resort areas. Okay? Okay. And this is an area where I like the fact I'll that... I'll give it a tie. Yeah, I think having both parts compete is mm -hmm. great. So, Universal has some great new resorts. We profiled both of them, Sapphire Falls and Cabana Bay. Absolutely. Yeah. And we've actually stayed at both. Yeah. Yeah. Very new, very clean, very affordable. Mm -hmm. um, so I think Universal does a better job as far as bang for your buck, but Disney has a little bit better ambiance. So I think yeah. they're both they're yeah. both equal and resort wise. Yeah, I would say so, and I would say you know with the way Universal is getting new hotels, new resorts out there to us, I would say calling it a tie is is really fair. You know. Disney does have their grand hotels. They have the Grand Floridian. They have the Four Seasons. Um, even their smaller resorts like Pop Century and Art of Animation. I think they're doing a great job as well. But I also feel that with the you know advent of Sapphire Falls, Cabana Bay, and you know Lord only knows what <laughs> the next hotel is going to be at Universal. I just think they're all do they're they're both doing yeah, a really good doing job. Yeah, they're both doing a good job. So check out all of our videos on the best mid-sized hotels affordable hotels, luxe hotels, because we talk about both 
Disney and Universal properties. All right, guys. So I hope you have enjoyed this list. I hope that as always, you have found this video to be extremely helpful. So helpful, in fact. We want a lot of questions. So one of the things we tried to get across this video is not one size fits all. Right. We know you probably have a lot more questions, so mm -hmm. please leave them in the comments. We love to respond to questions. We can put up more videos and answer your questions. And with that, guys, we will see you in the next video. And don't forget to make every day magical. Bye, guys.